Hello everyone, Simicraft here, and welcome to a first look at Space Pilgrim Academy. So this is a game I got set a key for from the developers, and I, I guess I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I haven't played. Apparently, there's like a whole series of like these little pilgrim whatever games, uh, even some other space pilgrim games. Which, none of which I've played, so this is my first time looking at any of these, so, well, let's see if it's good. Pilgrim Adventures. Oh, okay. Latona Station. Epsilon Iridati Sector, some light years from Earth. 10.5, I think. Oh, that is not good looking. <laughs> They're coming! Shoot, shoot, shoot! <laughs> Think, Maggie, uh, you always kick butt at hide and seek. Uh, where's the best hiding spot in here? Uh, do we move? Okay, we're moving with the arrow keys. Cool, cool. Um. Oh, and we can also click. So is this a uh, arrow key and spacebar type of game? Maybe. Uh, I don't think I'd fit in any of these barrels, even if I could get them open. Uh, but at that uh, hole, uh, there's a lot of heated smoke coming out of this hole. It's probably not a good place to hide. Um, what about this sandy thing here? Just floor. Okay. Uh, I shouldn't get any closer to that fire. <laughs> um. Um. Uh. Where can we hide? Where can we hide? Yeah, the barrel's not great. What if we just hide in the corner? Oh, okay. Nobody here. Let's move out. Hold your horses. We haven't even looked around yet. We need to get you to safety, Chancellor. Not before we've searched every inch of this station. Whoever carried out this attack was thorough. Efficient. Experienced, even. Then we should be equally thorough. Chancellor, it's my duty to protect you. It's your duty to obey me. If this is all too much for you, then you have my permission to return to the ship. Y you're joking. I don't know, am I? Oh. Find something? Uh, hi there. Who might you be? Y you'd better stay away from me, lady. Uh, I know Origami. Well, I definitely wouldn't want you to give me any nasty paper cuts. How about we just decide to be friends instead? Well, what's your name? Maggie. Well, Maggie, oh, we need to get you off the station. I have to find my mom. She told me to hide. I don't think your mother is here anymore. You mean she's on another ship? Uh, could be. Reactor is unstable. We need to leave. Now. Would you like to come with me on my ship, Maggie? I... I guess so. I need you to do something first, Maggie. Uh, t take my hand and shut your eyes real tight. Just trust me. Can you do that? Uh, okay, miss. Will you tell me your name? Gail. My name's Gal. Sp 
Space Pilgrim Academy. Well, that was an interesting opening. Oh! Well, it uh, looks like we got off that station just in time. It's been a while since I've had this kind of excitement. We're going to look for my mom now, right? Uh, yes, uh, we should talk about that. Uh, just uh, give me a few minutes to debrief the crew. We have a TV in the rec room. It's right this way. Welcome on board the Starship Quicksilver. Oh, wait! Quicksilver? Hmm. Uh, some kind of fuel, maybe. Let's look at this. I wonder what this console does. Use it. Should I push a button? For some reason, it feels really tempting. Nah, bad idea. Yeah, probably. Mm. Oh, there's a trash can. Look. A uh, recycling bin. Take. I don't want to go through the trash. That's gross. Ooh, nice engine. The airlock is locked. Well, I can't see much from down here. Pirates? I don't know, Sergey. From the evidence that we saw, the attack seemed a little too... organized. I think there's something else going on here. Something more troubling. In my country, we have a saying. Wait, before you repeat one of your famous Russian sayings, I think you should look to your left. Ah. Uh. Uh, perhaps it's not suitable for the child. I didn't think so. A uh, new cadet? Uh, maybe. We'll see. See if you can make contact with uh, Abassi and let them know we're coming. Affirmative, Chancellor. <laughs> not sure if I should try for Russian accent and offend every Russian in existence. <laughs> Quicksilver? Gale? Gail Pilgrim? Uh, Sergei Petrov. We are shouting out names, yes? It's a fun game. Uh, I wouldn't kid around with that if I were you. E even I know that's an artificial gravity generator. Uh, I don't think this is a radar and communications console. Or, I I do think it is. Never mind. So, you work for Gail Pilgrim? I do. She's famous. I am quite famous too, you know. Have you ever, have you never heard of Sergei Petrov? Genius who broke the Than Thanatos code. Nope. Leave me alone, little girl. Ooh, what's this? This has something to do with the ship's power. Look, look, do not touch. Hey, uh, where'd she go? Oh, that's a door. Oh, look, the bathroom. You kind of need to go. You? There we go, great. Toilet breaks. Woohoo. It's a trash can. I'm not rummaging around in the trash. That's a nice shower. 
Nah, I'm clean enough. <laughs> Just look at everything, then use everything. Ah, oh, clean white towel. I don't need it. Th that's a sink. And now we should use the towel differently. Nice and dry. <sighs> uh, you're f you're the one from the station. You were with uh, Miss Pilgrim. Miss Pilgrim. Uh, I wouldn't call her that to her face. Dry Chancellor or Ambassador. But yes, I was with her. You were lucky to make it out of there. We just might given up hope of finding anyone. How come you don't wear the uniform of a space warden? Because I'm not a warden. I'm in the Marines. At least I was. I'm supposed to be retired. Answering that distress call from Latana Station was the most action I've seen in eight years since the end of the war. Anyway, you can call me the Colonel. Everyone else does. I'm Maggie. Nice to meet you. Now run along. Okay, not too much here. Oh, there's some lockers here. It's not polite to go through other people's things. I don't have any items, okay, cool. Uh, what about this door? Ooh, a kitchen. Nice. Oh, the TV. Huh. It's a fridge. Meh, a load of health food. I don't need to cook anything. Ah, uh, coffee. Ooh, I love super juice. Uh, I don't have any credits. Hmm. Maybe ask Miss Pilgrim for some when I see her. Or Mrs. Pilgrim, I guess. Yeah. Nice plants. I guess I could watch a little TV. Oh! Greenness. Nice. Galaxy Traveler. Oh, is this the TV show? Ha! <sighs> Breathe that fresh air! There's nothing quite like beaming down to an unexplored planet, Lieutenant. You're right about that, Captain. I wonder if we will find any intelligent beings on this new world. That is the sole purpose of our 50-year mission, after all. Wouldn't it be a wonderful thing to be the first humans to make contact with a new, advanced life form? That is my life's ambition, Lieutenant, the only thing that I truly desire. Captain, look! Don't interrupt me when I'm talking, Lieutenant. I really hate it when you do that. But... Now what was I saying? Ah, yes! I was talking about our extremely important mission to search for intelligent alien life in our galaxy. Perhaps one day, Lieutenant, our mission will succeed. Perhaps one day, we will learn that we are truly not alone in the universe. Until then, our noble quest continues. <sighs> yes, Captain. <laughs> what wonderful dramatic irony. That was a weird show. Enough TV for now. I want to speak with Mrs. Pilgrim. A pair of lockers. Hmm, an old flight jacket. Uh, I'll check the pockets. Bingo! One access card. 
Also, a nice pair of goggles. Maybe I'll borrow these. I'm Maggie Dale, a space explorer. <laughs> hmm, someone's writing a speech. On the security and defense of the Galactic Union. Boring. Don't want that. Input password. Well, it's uh, not password. I'm out of ideas. Nice plans. The shelves are full of boring old books about politics. Hey, wait! The Adventures of Peppy Photon in the Elven Nebula. I used to love these books. <laughs> There's something written on the inside cover. To Gale, because she never learned to grow up. Love, Sabina. I'll put this back where I found it. Oh, is that a cat? Hey, kitty! Can't see much from down here. <laughs> this game so far reminds me a bit of a uh, one shot, a bit. Kind of that same sort of like game type of gameplay. I presume I need the access card for this. <sighs> the cockpit. I, I bet Mrs. Pilgrim went in there. Phew, he needs an access card. What if I use an access card? It's a good thing you returned to the sh to. It's a good thing you returned to the ship when you did. That landing platform was becoming seriously unstable. You should have seen it, Kathy. The carnage on that station. I counted. I counted twenty fatalities. Maybe even more. Sure, space pirates can be brutal, but this. They ripped the place apart like they were looking for something. I'm going to find the people who did this. I won't rest until I do. What about the girl's parents? Her mother was on the station. She told her to hide. Uh, we can't know for sure yet, but uh, we should probably assume that she was among the casualties. What? Oh, uh, Maggie? told me my mom was on another ship. I did, but I... You lied to me! Damn it. Poor girl. Uh, you'd better go and find her, Chancellor. Uh, I'll plot our course, meanwhile. Oh, I'm controlling the Chancellor now. That's my chair. Kathy has things under control in here. I should find Maggie. We store some emergency supplies here. Over the years, I've learned that uh, it's always good to be prepared. The backup power generator. Always a good thing to have. Okay, let's find Maggie. So, yeah, uh, Colonel. You didn't happen to see a little girl run through here, did you? Lost her, lost her already, Pilgrim. Promise me you'll never have children of your own. <laughs> I'm not helping you look for her. Really, Colonel? Really? These are storage lockers for the Quicksilver crew. I don't like to rummage through my crew members' belongings. It tends to upset them. Hmm, that's here. <sighs> this is no time for watching television. Uh, what's up, Zabar? <sighs> These are my lockers. Hmm, I think Maggie's been snooping around in here. No time for eating now. I 
should have settled on a different voice and realized this would be an important recurring character. Arg! I am my own worst enemy. Not in here. Our new shower is a lot nicer than the old one. Oops. Okay, that. Ah, uh, did you see a little girl run through here? Maybe. Well, it could have been a cat. Well, I'd just say. Small, quick, and airy. There she is. Maggie. Maggie. I'm sorry about your mother. She might still be alive. For all we know, you shouldn't give up hope. I mean, if they, uh, if they took her prisoner, right? It's a possibility. If she's alive, I'll find her. If she's alive, I'll find her, and I'll do everything I can to help. The thing is, we don't know where to start looking. In the meantime, we need to find a place for you. Uh, do you have any other family? Y your dad, maybe? My dad died in the war. Oh. Well then, I do have a temporary solution. As well as being an ambassador for the Galactic Union, I'm also the chancellor of a school. The Pilgrim Space Academy? I've heard of it. Is that a school for super smart kids? My grades are good, but they're not that good. It's an academy for gifted pupils, but there are many different kinds of gifts. Besides, not many students get a personal recommendation from the Chancellor. What do you say, Maggie? Sure, I guess. Where else would I go? Time for skip, I presume. Planet Abase, Cirrus system, 8.6 light years from the Earth. Act 1 The Stray. Uh, do you have everything the, uh, your planner and the 10 credits I gave you? Yep. Your planner will tell you when your next class is, but first you should make your way to the girl's storm. You're in room 4B. 4B, right. Uh, I have something else for you to do. See, these goggles, you found them. Uh, I want you to keep them. Every space pilot needs a pair, and besides, they suit you. Uh, thanks, Mrs. Pilgrim. Mrs. Pilgrim? Seriously? I don't even like being called Miss Pilgrim. I told you, call me Gail. Okay, Gail. Got it. I need to take a trip into... Ajina City. But I'll be back this evening. The Academy is hosting a dinner for the President of the Galactic Union. I'll be sure to check in on you if before then, if I can. Good luck, Maggie. I'm sure you'll do great here. <sighs> right, so, uh, 4B, Girl's Storm. Okay, here we are at the, uh, Space Pilgrim Academy. But that is where this first look is going to have to end. This does seem like an interesting game that's potentially going interesting places, so if you guys like this, I am more than happy to continue. But, uh, until then, I've been Simicraft, and I will catch you in potentially more Space Pilgrim Academy, or something else. Goodbye.